this lesson you are going to learn about the area of compound or complex, you could say it either way, figures. And again, area means how many square units are within a, a figure. And this figure is not a simple rectangle or square, which makes it a little bit more difficult, but not too difficult. What you can do is simply split this shape into two parts. So we have one rectangle here and one rectangle here. Well, I noticed that I don't have the sides of my rectangle, so I need to figure that out. I know the total of this side is five feet, and this is one foot, so five minus one gives me four feet here. And across the whole bottom is seven feet, and this is three feet, so if I subtract seven minus three, I know that this part here is four feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of this rectangle and then find the area of this rectangle and combine them together. So for right now, I'm just going to worry about this rectangle. This rectangle has a length of five and a width of three. You could call it a length of three and a width of five, either way. So to find the area of the first rectangle, and I'm gonna say rectangle one, we're gonna go length times width. So area equals the length of five times the width of three, and that area equals 15 square feet. So that's this rectangle. Now I have to find this rectangle. I'm not gonna use the seven because that's this, that is the length of the entire shape. I just want this length. So in this case, we're going to again do area equals length times width. In this case, the length is four feet, and the width is also four feet. So we're going to go four, oops, four times four, which equals 16 square feet. Now we have this 15 square feet for this rectangle, the 16 square feet for this rectangle. Now I have to add them together. So the area equals 16 plus 15 feet, which gives us an area of 31 square feet total for this whole figure. I can do that problem a different way. It's the same, same figure, but this time I might want to split my figure this way. So in this case, I'm going to find the area of this rectangle and then the area of this rectangle and add them together. So this time we're going to do the area of the first rectangle. It's over here, I should have said the area of the second rectangle. All right, the area of the first rectangle, well, this one's already labeled for me. It's three feet and one feet. We do the length times the width. So the area equals three times one, and three times one is three. So the area of the small rectangle is three square feet. Now I wanna find the area of the larger rectangle. And again, this one's art, oh, it's not labeled. This five means this whole side here. So I have to take five feet, subtract one foot. This rectangle is actually four feet, not five feet. So the area of rectangle two, again, is length times width. The area equals, we'll call the length seven, times the width four, which comes out to be 28 square feet. So we have the area of the second rectangle and the area of the first one. So we add those together, 28 feet, plus three feet, and the area is 31 square feet, which comes out to be the same. Either way, we split it up. Here I have a different type of figure. This figure kind of looks like stairs, and we're going to do the same. We could, uh, we could make this into a couple different ways. I'm going to go like this and like this. So I have a small square, a small square, and this larger square. 
but I need to figure out the sides that are missing. I know that this is three feet, so this is three feet, that's fine. This is three feet and that's three feet. But what I need to know here is how far across this large, this larger square. I know that this one is three and this one is three, so three plus three is six feet here. This side is three and this side is three, so this one is also six feet. From here to here is six feet and from here to here is six feet. So in this case, we're going to do three areas and add them together. So the area of this rect rectangle is length times width. Area equals three times three. So the area there is nine square feet. This other one is also length times width. It is also three times three. And the area of that one is nine feet squared or nine square feet as well. Now we need to do this larger one. The larger rectangle has an area of the length times the width. In this case, the length is six and the width is also six. So the area, six times six is 36 feet squared or square feet. But I'm not done. I have to combine all of these together to get the area of the entire figure. So the area is the nine feet plus the nine feet plus the 36 feet. So I'm gonna do my addition over here. Nine plus nine is 18. Uh, six plus eight is 14. Three, four, 54. The area of the entire figure is 54 square feet or 54 feet squared. That brings us to the end of our lesson on the area of complex figures.